Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Quotes YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be taking you through meta tag in HTML. We'll go through what meta tag is, the syntax and the usage of meta tag in HTML. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Till now, we have covered different types of tags present in HTML. We came across the formatting tags and the phrase tags present in HTML. In the last part, we also covered the differences between these tags. Apart from all the differences these tags have, they are still similar in one aspect. That is, these tags are used to change the appearance of a web page. Whenever we use these tags, we change the look and the feel of a web page. Now, the meta tag is a bit different from these tags. This tag does not impact the appearance of a web page. It is used in the head section of the HTML document and does not require any closing tag to work. What this tag does is it gives information about the data we have on our web page. Meta refers to metadata. Metadata means data about data. For example, if we have a website that provides the user with some data, it can be any kind of data and the user can go through it to gain some information. But the information about the data present on our website is given by metadata only. What does it mean to provide data about data? For example, if we go to Google and search for a keyword. Now, how Google works is it goes through the keywords present in any particular website and then shows the user that particular website. Those keywords here refer to metadata and we have to put them inside meta tags in HTML. The description we get while searching for a website is also present inside the meta tag of any HTML document. Basically what we are trying to say is this tag is used to give essential information about any particular web page. Meta elements can be used to include name value pairs describing properties of HTML documents. For example, if you want to put any keyword for a web page, the name attribute inside the meta tag will contain the keyword and the value attribute will contain the actual keyword name. There is no closing tag needed in meta elements because these elements contain information within attributes only. We can use multiple meta tags for different information. So let's start with the programming part now and you guys will get a better idea about meta tag in HTML. Here we have a simple HTML document wherein we already have some meta tags present over here. So these tags are present in any new HTML document we create in VS Code. Let me sh show it to you again. Let me zoom in a bit in VS Code. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a new HTML file over here. So let's create one. So let's say we are writing here the name is meta.html. Fine. Now press the exclamation key. So we have to write it this. Now press enter. And you can see we have all the necessary tags present in our HTML document, right? You can see here we have three meta tags present over here with some attributes. Let's discuss these tags first. The first meta tag over here you can see has the keyword or has the attribute as care set, right? It says care set and the value is UTF-8. Now, UTF refers to Unicode Transformation Format 8-bit. It is the most common character encoding present in the whole World Wide Web. That is the whole internet. So, the next meta tag here has the attribute HTTP Equiv or we can say HTTP Equivalent. The value is X UA compatible here. And then we have the content attribute with value as IE equals to edge. Now this tag tells the Internet Explorer to display the content in the highest mode available. We generally don't need this tag in an HTML document unless we are working with Bootstrap. Now the next meta tag here is used for the viewport width of the web page. You can see it over here. It says name is equals to viewport and content. It contains width, device width and initial scale is set to 1.0. Fine. Now this gives the browser instruction on how to control the dimension and scaling of a web page. The width is equals to device width part sets the width of the page to follow the screen width of the device, which may vary depending on the device size. So 
The next thing we have the initial scale is equal to 1.0, right? It is used to set the initial zoom level when the browser first loads the web page. So 1.0 is the default value. So these are some predefined meta tags we get while creating any HTML document in VS Code. Now let's discuss some more thing we can do with a meta tag in HTML. We discussed previously about keywords present on a web page, right? So what we'll do is we'll first write over here. We are going to create a meta tag. Then we'll write inside here name is equals to let's say keyword. And then we have the content attribute. So it will contain keywords inside it. What we are going to do is we are going to write some keywords. Let's say we are writing over here HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and let's write something else. Let's write here meta. So these are the keywords over here. Now what we did here is we defined some keywords for our web page. Now when any user searches for any of these keywords and we want Google to show our web page at the top, then we have to include all the possible keywords that the user can use to search in Google. Fine. Similarly, if we want to give any description about a web page, what we have to do is we have to write meta over here. So we are going to use another meta tag over here. So next up we have the name attribute inside name will write description and inside content will give the description the actual description fine so we'll write this is a page for meta tags in html and we'll close this meta tag. that's it this is the description of our web page one thing to say here is none of these meta tags we are using will affect the physical appearance of the web page. So these meta tags are basically related to search engine optimization only. So that's why we are not using them side by side along with Google Chrome because we can't see them or we can't witness them. Now the next property we'll be discussing here is the revised property. This property is used to mention the last revision done on the web page. The syntax goes like this. We have to use a new meta tag for it and then inside name what we have to do is we have to write here revised and then we have to write here content and then we have to provide the name so we'll write here simply quote then we'll write the date over here fine so we'll write here 14032022 this is the date you guys might have noticed while going through google after searching for any website that last updated is mentioned there in some cases so this is the syntax for doing so. In case we want to put the name of the person who made the change, then what we can do is we can write here meta again. So we have to use the meta tag again and again for each property. Fine. So we have to write your name. Now we have to mention author and inside content. We have to not write the name of author. So let's say Kaushal is the name of author. Now this meta tag over here states that Kaushal is the author of this web page who made the changes and worked on it. Fine. Now if we want a web page to refresh automatically after a particular time interval, we can use meta tag for this task as well. What we can do is we can write here. After this we can write here meta. Now we are not going to use name over here. We are going to use HTTP equip. And then we have to write here refresh. Then inside content, we have to pass here value. So three here in this statement refers to the time in seconds. If we include this statement in a HTML file, then the page will get refreshed after every three seconds. We can witness this right now. Save the program. And what we have to do is we have to open it with live server. We'll click on open it with live server. And you can see here after every three seconds, the page gets refreshed, right? So this is how the refresh property in meta tag actually works. So guys, I hope you must have got an idea about meta tags by now, the syntax, the usage and everything. So that's all for this video guys. See you in the next one where we'll go through comments in HTML. If you enjoyed watching this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comments. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Simply code. Thank you.